today I am doing a little mukbang slash life update, my channel update. I'm switching up a few things and I've been gone for a few weeks so I just want to like talk to you guys about that and get your opinions and let you know what is up. Okay, so let's just get into this video and you'll find everything out. What I got here today for this little eat with me life update is uh, some like thin glass noodles in a little soup here. Let me show you guys. And I also fried up some dumplings or maybe like you want to say wontons. So I fried those up. And my soya sauce. I'm just going to add a little here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat for a minute and then we'll start talking. Bomb. They is tasting bomb.com right now. Little egg. Let me get a little dumpling in. Um, this is my first time frying these, you guys. I usually just uh, steam them. My mom and I made these dumplings. We have a pork dumpling. And we also made vegetable and chicken, but right now um, all I have left is pork. So we handmade them and then we just froze them. Sorry for the eating sounds in this video because I'm eating and I just wanted to like come here, sit with you guys, eat and chat. Let's go ahead and get into my little life telenovela drama story. Starting at, I was on vacation. So I went on vacation. It was so much fun. I had a great holiday. That was probably three weeks ago that I left. So I think that's how long I've been gone from my channel. I recorded one video while I was gone because I really just wanted to like enjoy my time. Not stress, not worry if I'm getting good footage. Even though I probably should have done some travel vlog or something like that would have been great. But anyways, I went on vacation. We went on a river cruise and that was about five days long. It was amazing and we had so much fun, so relaxing. Uh, got to see some beautiful places. And then we did a little city hopping from different places in China, which was like, um, we docked in Chongqing. Then we stayed there a few days, visited Chengdu. And then from Chengdu, we went to Xi'an. And I did some video vlogging in Xi'an, but just very little. And that was about two weeks. I uh, decided to, well, I didn't decide to, kind of. It's another part of the story. But anyways, the vacation ended. I came home. And, of course, I'm home one day. And little Miss Rona decides that she's going to hit my city. So now, yeah, now, like, the last week, um... We're more into like a quarantine state. So in, I mean, it's everywhere that they're taking it pretty seriously. Let me tell you what I mean. So 
in China, it's just very quick response and fast reacting and everybody follows the rules. So when we found out the case was happening, people reacted right away. There was an outbreak in the airport here in Nanjing. Been home for like one day, outbreak at the airport. It was a little bit chill, but everyone had to get tested immediately. And that's literally a city of a million, millions of people, or not millions, but over a million people got tested within a two day period. First, it was anybody in the proximity of the airport got tested. Then the next day, everybody in the city had to get tested. So long lines, crazy queues, right? And um, you go to get tested. Um, they contact you if you know, like you're positive or they're worried. I haven't been contacted, but then they're doing a second round of testing. So I went for that yesterday. And the second round of testing, I guess, is just a precaution. I'm not sure. So it's been since maybe last Tuesday. So a little, a, a near a week that all this has happened and we're getting our second testing. I'm assuming we're going to get a third testing uh, in seven more days. So that's been the week since I got back. And with that, people are going into more of a lockdown situation. So if you're out, we have codes here in China. Um, so your code updates like by GPS location. If you go anywhere, someone was in contact with the same location as you, then your code will turn yellow and you're under 14 days self quarantine and you have to get extra testing, right? So now you're scared to leave your house because you don't want your code to turn yellow. And also you you want to stay safe, right? You just want to take care of yourself and those around you. And it's kind of just been going through that old lockdown phase from last year. That's been the last week. So right now the situation is kind of self-quarantining, my code's green. I'm going to see my mom today. Her code's green. There's a map of where everybody has been or where they're infected. And thankfully they're not on this side of town or on my side of the river at all. Um, so yeah, just safety to go and visit her. It's been a week, not a week, a few days since I saw her before everything kind of got serious. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go visit her. Hopefully her complex lets me in. Right now, uh, here in China, deliveries are like a huge, huge thing. So you order your groceries, you order like things from online and they get here quickly. Um, usually those go straight to your door, but now they just go outside your gate. So they're being strict about who they let in. Let me have a little eating moment. These noodles are so good, you guys. I just decided to try these kind. Usually I go for my fire noodles, but these are like the glass noodles. Mm -hmm, so good. I put a little boiled egg in there, put extra chili because I love the chili sauce. made these yesterday but they hitting real good today I don't know what it is they're a little bit more soupier just like extra bomb mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. so I covered I went on vacation for two weeks had bomb.com time and <laughs> then come home and this big kind of switch on everything. I had other plans for the summer. I was gonna go to Disneyland for my friend's birthday. 
And I was gonna go to Beijing, but I'm just having to move these plans to whenever we can travel because right now we can't travel outside of Nanjing really without doing like extra testing, quarantine, etc. That's where I'm at on the where have I been, what have I been up to. Now you know the details. If you have any questions about like any of those things, let me know in the comments below. And also, there's a surprise in the box below as well, the information. Another channel that is gonna be my new channel. Right now, save it, look at the name. This is Caitlin, vlog underscore life, or maybe this is Caitlin underscore vlog life. I'm still working on the name, but it's below and I'll put it here on the screen for you to go subscribe if you like my vlogs and want to see more. Now that um, scurbs us into the new update. So, I mean, I don't really have that many followers on this channel and I'm still like figuring things out. So that's kind of been a reason for my pause too. But I have decided to do two YouTube accounts. This one will be my official uh, crime time account where I will update crime videos every week and uh, have more of a constant flow and schedule of that. And I don't have to worry about mixing it with my vlogs or other little challenges or things that I want to do. The second channel with Box is going to be vlogs, challenges like drinking games with my friends, just a little bit more of my personal. I really, really hope that you go subscribe to that as well because um, it's going to be like what I used to post on this channel. I just really want to commit myself to both and not be worried about mixing my audiences as much because some don't care about my life. They want to know death, murder, crime, mystery, drama. Some of you want to know like, girl, what you up to? What you doing? How's your life? That's going to be on the other channel. Um, you'll get to see just some of my like older content and what I've been doing. I'm nervous because it's so hard to get subscribers and people interested, but I'm just going to do it and update, do my thing like I've been doing and see how it goes. Um, with that, I'm working on updating my YouTube equipment, getting my filming room like secure, ready. Oh, I'll mention that in a minute. Getting my YouTube room secure ready. I finally got a fan, so I won't like melt when I'm filming. And I can focus <laughs> because the heat is no joke. Like it's hot here. And being in a room with no type of fanning or cooling system is hard to record and focus. The other thing that I'm doing is trying to sort my laptop. I have a little bit of an older laptop and really I don't know how to work technology. I've said that a bunch on my channel. I can't even like upload iMovie on there. I don't know why. Well, I do because it tells me why, but I can't fix the problem. I've tried like, I've tried to become a techie and it's not working. Every time I think I'm getting somewhere, it's a no. So, pray for me, wish for me, send me advice. I can't figure it out. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do because right now I have a lot of content that I need to organize, put together, edit. And it's so hard to do that all on your phone. My hands start to cramp. I know this is like, <laughs> poor me. But it's just like, I hate having my phone in my hand the whole time trying to do this stuff. And I need to learn to do it on my computer, especially with two different channels going. So yeah, 
that was the big surprise. I'm making two channels. Um, and just better to organize my content and really like not bug people who aren't interested in one thing or the other. <clears throat> oh, I'm done eating so stuffed. Very yummy. And let me think if I have anything else to tell you guys. Oh, I was going to also mention another thing that happened is um, here, the typhoon that's been hitting. I don't know if you guys have seen any news on it. Um, it's also rolling in, so we're getting a lot of rain and a lot of delivery systems are not delivering because of the fact that the weather is really bad. Um, I'm maybe a few hours from Shanghai and that area is really heavily affected as well. So that's also another, I mean, life really came at it for us this last week. <laughs> we got hit with Miss Rona, typhoon rolling in, and yeah, I'm just trying to like cope with being at home and working on the things I need to get done. It can be a little bit overwhelming, yeah, but everything is good besides that and i'm just dedicating myself to my channel right now really trying to like work on presenting things for the future so sorry i've been gone don't forget to subscribe to my new channel mentioned here <laughs> so go subscribe to this channel guys if you want to see more updates about my life uh what i'm doing some little videos with my friends travel vlogs um that type of thing so yeah i hope that i see you on my new channel and stay tuned i have a new crime time video coming i will be updating two videos a week Woo! finally i'll be updating on thursdays and mondays so stay tuned for that it's gonna be two videos a week on this channel and two videos a week on my other channel yay me just push myself to be overwhelmed stressed and probably behind so yeah but that's what i'm gonna be doing bye i hope you have a gorgeous day and don't forget again to subscribe comment below your thoughts or any advice you have for me Thank you for your love and sorry for my delay of videos, but now you know. Bye guys.